All right, more mysterious uh, gunfire and another SWAT vehicle. Gas that's draining and no battery. Not gonna do anything with that. Draining, draining. No seat. Got in here, SWAT truck. Whole lot of nothing. All the all the uh, seats are broke. No gear. Northeast and below. Did I? This is where I marked earlier. Yeah, but pretty sure there's a lab under here somewhere. We heard noises here, here, and now we've got noises here as well. So I suspect there's a lab entrance in one of the houses somewhere in this neighborhood, this area. But I don't know exactly where. We haven't located the actual entrance yet. The zombies are going to be clustering up where the gunfire is. And we're at the police station. Police stations have had changes since I last spent a lot of time in them. There's different designs for them. I don't care about the cell block. Alright, I don't know which of these is which. Go. This one first. Gunfires helping cover the noise of the jackhammer. <laughs> hey there, Turquez. What do we got? We got punch daggers, survival knives, switch blades. Not an impressive group. Not an impressive group. There we go. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> the last, the last locker. RM42 fighting knife. Hell yes. Rivtech combat dagger. And it works with our martial arts style. So, definitely taking that. Don't need a punch dagger now that we have the RM42. We didn't get a Hack Pro though. Hack Pro is one of the things you can get commonly out of here is Hack Pro software. So, we did get a Hack Pro. So I was only mildly interested in getting one, but uh, eh. All right, next one. I'm happy just with the uh, <laughs> so much noise. Die, Mr. Cab Zombie. Let's try this again. At least we get to continue where we left off. Alright, what about this one? We got Kevlar vests, first aid kits, clocks, ammo. These would be awesome early. If I'd come here earlier, would have made uh, making my Kevlar stuff a lot simpler. Riot armor. And a CX-4 Storm. Yeah, this is a pretty small one. I've seen much, much bigger police stations. Some of them with multiple floors. And really big, uh, like, evidence lockers and uh, equipment rooms. So, I don't really need any of this. I'm not using guns. I guess we'll grab the first aid kit and how much weight can I carry? I can only carry eight pounds. Safely anyway. Alright, we'll call back. Uh 
That does have the upstairs. Hmm. Training room. Hmm. Rooftop access. Maybe I make this my fallback position. And I believe this goes to the exterior. Yep. All right. Well, that's the uh, current police design. One of several styles. Probably the smallest of them. Six police stations. One to the north. Way, way off there. All right. It's the only one I'm likely to get to. That one I could get to without too much difficulty, I guess. That's not too far away. Short bike ride, but I don't particularly need anything. We got the RM42, which is the main thing I was after. What's the gunfire? It's a lab underneath me. One of these local houses has got a lab entrance. I've heard gunfire noises here, here, and here, so... Somewhere in one of these houses is going to be a uh, stairs to a basement that has a lab access. I am currently overweight, though. So I'm not too inclined to go searching right now. Hmm. Oh, that's right. This is where I was heading to get to the, uh, the bar so I can get some more alcohol. Alright, let's drop the Kevlar for now. It's really only just useful if I need it in the future anyway. <laughs> Whiskey! Grabbing up anything in a glass bottle at the moment. enough. 121. I'm going to be like at 150 when I grab up the Kevlar. Alright, so there's a pretty good pile of uh, alcohol, glass bottles. I just need a jerry can of gas now, and I think I think there was jerry cans in that garage just north of my base, actually. So, let's grab this. Use some pedal power, get back to our base, drop all this crap off, check for the uh, jerry can, grab some gas, mass produce some Maltovs, which will really help me against all the hordes of regular zombies since I no longer care about uh, stuff they drop. I don't need any of their, their gear or items. So having them burn up in flames is not something I'm concerned with. Most reliable location to score light amp goggles? Hunting store. Hunting supply store. You got about a 25-30% eh, chance per hunting supply store to get light amp goggles. Other than that, kill soldier zombies or visit uh, laboratory barracks. <laughs> Stupid zombie child. So, I saw a wrestler. I gotta be careful of the wrestler. He can mess me up. Yep, there he is right there. Did I get dazed? Did not get dazed. Alright, let's, uh, let's park the bike up on the top corner this time. I'm facing the wrong way. Hmm. 
God dang it. <laughs> Fine. Fix that in a minute. I don't want to deal with a wrestler. Leave me alone, wrestler. I just want to take my loot back inside. Eggnog. I don't need a steak knife anymore. I have a sheath. Can't remember. That's the filthy sheath. Sure. I have no washing kit. Hmm. How did I get by without a washing? So we've got the fighting knife and a sheath. We've got... What do I got? Uh, oh, I've got to fix my machete. Yep, I don't need the combat knife anymore. Alright, machete's fixed. Gear is fine. Got rid of all of the weight I was carrying. We're back to good there. Let's go uh let's go kill a wrestler with some arrows. And whatever else is working. Where you at, wrestler? Alright, he's away from the door. Am I still drunk? Ooh, I'm only tipsy. Uh, rum? Yep, rum it is. <laughs> that got his attention. Hey there, wrestler. So, another big benefit of this particular location, these uh, windows with the grills, we can fire right through them without uh, worrying about them. <laughs> uh, my mama didn't raise no fool. <clears throat> I know how to pick my spots. Go back to the. Let's go with the RM42 for a little bit. I want to see how well it does. 
70. Oops. All right, no bodies to pulp. No zombies, no zombies. Shrieker. I get dazed. I did not get dazed. Kill whatever's in this building. Been in there a while. <laughs> Just hanging around back here, making noise. So yeah, the damage numbers aren't super sexy, like I'm getting with the uh, the big things. The difference, though, is the speed. So we've got 20 pierce, only 80 moves per attack, but we've also got rapid strike. So a lot of those hits are going at 40 moves per attack, meaning I'm getting two to three attacks per round. So when you only see 25 damage, you go, well, that's not much. Realize I'm hitting it 25, 25, 25 in a round. Um... Plus, it's got its pierce, so it's good to have options, and it's a very, very fast weapon. So I use this kind of thing for very specific types of enemies, and it's got a good to hit bonus as well. So the to hit bonus and the speed and the piercing ability makes this really good at killing manhacks and skitterbots and things like that, or uh, anything that's really, really fast but lightly armored or lightly hit point. So, knowing what to use when is pretty critical. And having options. Come here, you. Stabby stab. See, that's a 74 point hit off of a dagger. That's insane. That's, oh, that's because we got a uh, we got an assassination <laughs> bonus on top of that. So, he went down before he could do a single thing. He got two swings in in a single round. He didn't get any actions. Ooh, soldier. Can we, can, we, can we penetrate a soldier's armor with this thing? Two, seventeen, six, twenty. Yeah, we could take him down with this. Take a little while. That'd be the only problem. More grenades. More ammo. ID card. I gotta keep an eye out. I keep forgetting to check for infrared goggles. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go check the uh out oh, first. Relocate my bike. Bike's back in position. So if you remember, we have our emergency escape step ladder right here. We just drop it from the upper floor. It hits the ground. We climb down, hop on the bike, and take off. That's one of our escape plans. And we've got another ladder over here. So I want one more bike in this area. Uh, up in here. I want to say there's a berry can in here somewhere. Take one more gas tank. There we go, steel jerry can. And another one. And I think that's... Yeah, it's a second. Alright, so we got a couple of them. Now let's go out and get some gas. Both for my junker and for anything else we come across. Yeah, 
Actually, I don't need to siphon it from here. We got a gas station. Right there. Just go get it direct. They haven't destroyed all the pumps. They have not. Uh, I'm gonna have to go pay. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong command. Uh, let's see. Buy gas. How many liters? Um, oh, crap. This thing holds what? 20 liters. Eight, uh, about 18 liters. Buy gas. 18 liters. Okay. I don't know. Getting a little nervous. It's staying pretty quiet near our base now that we've killed 14 gazillion zombies. And survived a couple of home invasions. And did I lock all the doors? gas tank. Turn our reading lights and Maltops. Give me three Maltops. So we have our Maltop cocktails, at least our starting supply. Um, <clears throat> get our forge built. Berry. Not gonna drink spiked eggnog. Unload all of those. Seven Maltops. <clears throat> Drop two or three at once. Get a nice little batch of flames going and then let all the zombies kind of come to you and wander right into them and burn up. That'll save me a bunch of effort. Um, next time we get a big horde. So we got the Maltops done. Got the materials for our forge. Three hours... That'll take me until daylight, which I think I'm okay with. I'm not, not gonna, I'm not gonna make another trip out tonight. We got pretty much everything on the list that I was looking for. So let's go ahead and get working on the forge. Pump of steel's fine, and acetylene torch is fine. All right, we're making progress. <laughs> I was pretty worried when we got invaded by that skell jug. You broke through the wall. <clears throat> now it's going to be do I make a crap load of caltrips I think the last time I looked at them I wasn't impressed with the caltrips come here forge I need you wherever you are Take the big battery <clears throat> mm, I don't have the Caltro recipe any
Make 14 quadzillion nail board traps. <clears throat> that would be one option. But I just think they're not going to be all that effective. They're not that effective normally without wandering them back and forth on them or making a ridiculous number. And when you're playing with the zombies at 150% hit points, I think they're going to be even less effective. I'd rather not do that if I don't need to. All right, 5.30, some more water. Get our quarter staff put together. Oh, I never, I never picked up my long stick. <laughs> I remember on Wednesday, last Wednesday. Well, that's unfortunate. Scale jug and a brute. 5.30 and it's already daylight. All right, never mind. Quarter staff after we sleep. Because the flame resistant suit is close to the skin and is 100% coverage on all the body parts that it touches. So they're all close to the skin, so they don't conflict with any of my other locations. And it's close to the skin, and it's 100% coverage. And uh, the pieces give different amounts of protection, but 3-3 three, three protection is a really good value for uh, such a low encumbrance and the close to the skin layer. And it doesn't have a huge amount of warmth. Um, so pretty much every category is just awesome. There's not that many of these. Gives you good protection values, low warmth, what you need for late spring, early summer, and 100% coverage. That would be why. This is pretty much my typical setup that I go for for gear. There are definitely other ways to do it. Everybody has their preferences, but uh, I like the light survivor suit combined with the flame resistant gear because it gets me just to the edge of being immune to the low level zombie damage. They'll get occasional nicks through of one or two points of damage, but mostly I can shrug off 95% of the low level zombie that are trying to hit me. The, uh, the protection is just enough. The numbers you're aiming for is 100% coverage on all your body parts at 12-12 uh, protection. Can't quite get there with what I got. So, for example, the suit is 610, and then uh, the flame suit, or the flame stuff is either 2 or 3 protection. So that gets me about to 812. So that's why I get tagged every once in a while by the little guys. But I'm not willing with this guy who I need high mobility on to move up to the regular survivor or the heavy survivor suits. I value the mobility more than I value the uh, few extra protection points that they would give. Uh, it's been a while since I did the duster. Duster's fine. Um, I know if you early, if you can get a leather duster, you're, you're, you're sitting pretty good. Uh, the survivor duster, uh, it's been a while since I even looked at it. So it would be eight encumbrance when it was fitted. See, this is the kind of thing that drives me crazy is the coverage percentages. When I can pick and choose what I'm wearing, I go for 100%, period. I don't care if this was a million, a million. If it's a million bash, a million cut, but only 85 coverage, I ain't wearing it. It's just not useful for me. So that's why I don't get everybody grinding their teeth about the stupid Asapi vests. Who cares about the Asapi vest coverage being so high? You only need X amount of coverage and you're immune to 99% of the damage in the game. That 1% that it actually protects you against, you shouldn't be getting shot at anyway, dumbass. <laughs> if you're getting shot, you're doing it wrong. So, I don't get everybody's <laughs> situation with those Usapi vests. Like, whatever. You guys have fun with them. I could care less. 85% coverage for something that weighs 25 pounds and only has 80 the, the, that small coverage amount. Not for me, thanks. I'll take uh, something with less coverage, but gives me 100% or less protection values, I mean. Because, like I said, anything above a certain point is wasted. Who, who cares? This could be 50-50, and I'm not going to wear it because it's got 85% coverage. I can't have 15% of the time the entire amount of protection not being there. When you're, when you're out in a scrum fighting hordes of zombies, 
and the, uh, the, the hits are coming in fast and furious, that 15% that they get through is a large amount. <laughs> it's a large number. So the trick is to just achieve the minimum amount you need to eliminate the maximum amount of hits and then hopefully have all the other stuff, the weight and the warmth and so on, line up. But, I mean, if you only need 20 protection value to be immune to every damage source in the game except for a bullet, who cares if a protection is 80? You're not using the other 60. What benefit does it give you? So, people just don't really get, <laughs> I think, how the how the damage system works and why it's really irrelevant to have super, super high protection numbers. You don't need them. You just need the minimum amount and then just don't get shot. If you do get shot, you got a 50% chance that's going to do nothing and you're dead. So, <laughs> you're putting your life in the hands of uh, the dice at that point, which is stupid. However, though, everybody can play around, do whatever they want. Personally, uh, as everybody that watches me regularly knows, I, I, I prefer mobility. <laughs> I stay alive in crazy hard game world settings and crazy bad characters. And it's mostly due to knowledge of the game, but also maneuverability and knowing how to avoid situations and all that kind of stuff. But I very much prefer mobility. Alright, uh, I got distracted again. I was doing what? <laughs> Rant number two for the evening. Uh, what the hell was I doing? I was looking at weapons. I can't make my my quarter staff. Ooh, we could do the Tonto, but I've already got the RM42. I don't really need another knife that's worse than the RM42. So bashing, we're going with the quarter staff. Iron shod quarter staff is what we're we're aiming for. Right there. I still I I just have not really been able to use one of these things super effectively, I don't think. People keep telling me they're great, but I don't know. The few times I've used them, I just wasn't really impressed. The numbers look good. Plus three to hit's awesome for a to hit bonus on a staff. Plus you've got the 25 bash, which is okay. It's not dual style or dual damage type, so you're not splitting your XP or anything like that. You've got rapid strikes, so that 149 moves half the time is only going to be, uh, what is that, 75? It's got the sweep attack, it's got the high block, so I see its its advantages. I just, for some reason, haven't really been able to put it to use. But we're going to give it a try. It works with ninjutsu, so we're going we're gonna to whip it out and use it here so I can kind of get a better feel for it. We're going to go with quarterstaff. We've got cutting. Uh, we're trying to upgrade to like a katana, but I need fab. I don't have the ones, the recipes I need on the list yet because I don't have my fab high enough, so we're, we're on hold there. Pierce, I'm just going to... We've got the RM42, but it's pretty low end. Usually I go with the Naginata. No, that's the that's the uh, the pole arm, basically. Uh, it's the other one. Man, dang it, I always forget. However, we're not too worried about pierce damage on this one. Not doing ranged. We've already got our composite bow, and uh, I do need to make some more arrows when I start running out of these high-end arrows, because we're not going to be able to replace them. And don't need anything but Maltovs from that list. So yeah, weapons, we're, we're pretty much good to go until I raise my fab. Which I might actually just pick one of these things to craft, even though I'm not going to use it. But I'll gain XP faster crafting than I will reading. So maybe we'll do a Morning Star or something. <laughs> a peasant flail. Lists. Hmm. 
I gotta keep rem reminding myself, don't make the survivor machete. Machete works with ninjutsu. Survivor machete does not. Somebody needs to go fix that, damn it. 6 and 20 at 89 plus 2 versus 7 and 27. So, gaining damage, slower, same to hit bonus. Same techniques. Hmm. Yeah, I might make one anyway, because we would, uh, we would probably fail, but we'd gain a lot of XP, and it doesn't take much in the way of uh, components. We'd be able to level up to level 8 off of that one. So we might do that. Um... Yeah, we can't do any more running around. 5.30. I think I will start one of the... Uh... Yes. The worst that could happen. I don't care if it fails, I don't care if it takes extra materials, all I want is the XP. stop and sleep at 10 a.m. Yep, there's Fab 7. <laughs> mm, we might get pretty deep into 7 towards 8 or even make it to 8 by the time we finish this thing. Oh, ran out of torch charges. Well, that's why I brought another one. Load. Torch. Not quite time to stop. <clears throat> hmm, we messed up and lost 0% progress. How far did we make it? Uh, yeah, we made it halfway to halfway to 8 already. So, we got a ways to go still. Far. Yeah, we probably won't quite make it. Anything new and fun hit the list, though? Oh, Wakazashi's on the list. Still no katana. Oh, we're underweight. <laughs> Meaning we're normal weight. Finish off the fruit and have some cheese. Another sleepy time. E coming up yeah, day seventy nine, huh? <clears throat>
Yeah, still don't have a really good response for the scale jugs. We haven't seen too many hulks recently. Since uh, Wednesday's episode. But, um... Driving, walking them away, driving them away, running them over is still my go-to. <laughs> Might be a little easier when I've got uh, got the Maltovs laid down. We shall see. Ever hear back of my partner app? Yeah, I'm a partner, man. We got partner. Announced it a couple weeks ago. We are partnered. Good news. That's why we have the little check mark thingy on our on our front page. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it was uh it was it was a while. It uh it took three, I think that was my third application that I made that we we, uh, we got in. One of the best arrows for the bow, the ones I'm carrying around, carbon fiber hunting arrows. But you can't craft them. You can find them in hunting supply shop, hunting supply stores. But uh, not craftable, so you, you, you weep. You weep silent tears every time you run out of one. Otherwise, probably the uh, wooden broadheads. These things right here. They've got a uh, 1.5 multiplier. The uh, the bodkins are at 1.0. Wooden broadhead. Oh, that's the bolt, but the arrow's the same. So 1.5 multiplier. But uh, carbon fibers have uh, 1.75 with less dispersion and add four range. Compared to the wooden broadhead not adding any range and having worse dispersion. So the uh, the carbon fibers are way better. <laughs> so yeah, it took um, it took him a long time to answer my my application. My most the last one that I submitted, it was like. Five weeks, I think, before they, they actually gave me an answer. Okay, it's uh, not quite dark out. Let's just work on our craft until... Until something comes breaking through the wall. What's the purpose of plastic sheets? No direct purposes, short of uh, uh, no direct crafting purposes. That is, come apart for components. A lot of things are in the game that are not directly usable, but are there for being able to uh, use for components. All right, so we have a cutlass. Uh, let's do a direct comparison. So activate. Give me my machete, compare, machete, and cutlass. So between the two, the machete's got the benefit of the moves per attack, so the cutlass is about 10 points slower, 11 points slower, but we're gaining 1 point of bash and 7 points of cut, which is pretty significant. Same to hit bonus, same high block. So it comes down to do you value your, uh, your damage value or your speed? Eleven points is pretty significant, but uh, seven extra cut is also a pretty big upgrade. Yeah, I think I'll go with the cutlass. Let's uh, leave the machete behind as our our backup weapon in case it gets our cutlass gets yanked. I'm assuming I can put a cutlass in there. Yep, cutlass can go in the backpack. So cool. Now I still need a little bit more fab. 
Any other weapons? We'll wait till dark and we'll put the quarter staff together, but it's lower level. That's not going to get me any any skill. And of course, this is better than the cutlass, huh? Scimitar gets us up to, again, it upgrades the damage, but uh, makes it slower, lowers the to-hit bonus. And so the trade-off here is you get you get the benefit of the high blocking. Slower, less to-hit bonus, but high blocking. So another trade-off you'd have to decide for yourself which was more important. 830 plus 2, 110 with high block. See, that one looks pretty good right there compared to what I'm using currently. Because we're at uh, 727 plus 2. Eh, I guess it does have high blocking. So we're not really gaining the blocking benefit. So a little more damage for another 10 moves. Probably not worth it. That's the one. S-Doc. That's what I was trying to remember earlier. I go with the S-Doc quite often when I'm going with piercing damage. 38 pierce plus 2 to hit with precise strike and high block. A little on the slow side, but it hits like a truck and it'll penetrate Pretty much anything that's got armor for a decent amount. Doesn't work with ninju, though. Tanto does, but it's just a knife. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Can't use that. None of the arrows are going to get me skill. How close am I again? 82%. I could just read for that last percent. I think I need one more. I can't remember for sure where the katana's at. I think I'm one more short. Actually, I might be more than that because it hasn't shown up on the list yet at all. Hmm. I have the 932 minutes. Be the best one I've got. Who we got? Saw Kevlar Zombie. Somewhere. <laughs> right outside the window. Alright, you. No more Kevlar Zombie. <coughs> Being drunk again. Never a good sign. Uh, I don't have enough rum with me. Oh, 
No rum here either. All right, finish off the rum and fill it with. Ah, now we're looking good but trashed. Silly zombies. Hundred and eighty-eight! <laughs> Alright, new high. We're closing in on two hundreds. Got my backpack. 192! <laughs> uh, we're getting kind of close to being able to drop things fairly consistently in one swing. At least while drunk. Which is our normal, normal status anyway. I am not going to miss Drunk Master Trait. Whoa! <laughs> 223! 223! Alright, that uh, scaled up a little further than I thought it was going to. Well, what's going to happen when we get the, uh, the katana? Now I just need that lab under here to be a CVD finale so I can diamond coat the katana. See how truly ridiculous we can get this thing. Two oh two. Now we're layering some effects here. We're layering the ridiculous abilities, uh, damage abilities of the uh, drunk trait. Yeah, this no, no. This is the uh, the pre nerf. <laughs> this is the reason it got nerfed. <laughs> it's because for the last like eight series, I've been bitching and moaning about it and demonstrating how stupid ridiculous it is. So, uh, last Wednesday, Co or, uh, Korg finally said, all right, that's enough. <laughs> and he, he looked at it and he figured out what was wrong with it, why it was broke. And in addition to nerfing it, he moved it to the mythical martial arts, which I am perfectly happy with. That was my goal the entire time. But I have purposely not updated this build I'm playing so we could finish it out. With the truly redonkulous thing that it is. I, let's see. I don't want to turn the light on. I'll let that guy be. Oh, he's chasing me now, huh? Hmm. He's chasing me really, really quickly. So this is one of those situations where a zombie all of a sudden moves way the hell faster than it should. I mean, he was just sprinting his ass down towards me. Three more or three arrows? That's no good. Alright. Down one extra arrow. Probably broke it off in that Kevlar zombie's bony ass. Told you I was going to be pretty happy when we could use the bow again, <laughs> or for the first time. That two weeks we had the common cold and couldn't use the bow sucked. 
really didn't have a way of dealing with a lot of these guys without having my bow. Alright, so cleared the block again. Everything's looking pretty cool. Seem to have mostly tamed the wander spawns. Let's see. What else was I going to do? We got the Maltovs crafted. We're working on getting the final weaponry put together. I'd really like to get that finished up. Down two of our precious, precious carbon fiber arrows. Not quite high. Yeah. All right, so meteor area is clear. I really don't have anything I need to do out the out in the dark right now. I do want to get another bike, like I said, and then one more junker vehicle I can use in emergencies. And I would like to find that, uh, the lab. I think I'm just gonna spend the night reading. I would like to do some more, one more thing of healing anyway. So, turn your goggles off and finish this level up. See if there's any chance we get the katana built finally. What you doing over there, zombie dog? I see you over there. Still one level shy. <laughs> so Nadachi is one of the other ones I typically go for. For that reason. Slow, but uh, it does have the rapid strike. Between brutal strike, rapid strike, wide strike, I think it's worth the uh, slow base moves per attack, and plus the ridiculous cut value. Not much here, so pick, pick your weapon. Don't try to use one of these against a predator, for example. This would be a bad matchup for Anything small and bouncy and dadgy and quick, but um, I would take that up against most everything else with no problem. So I might make a Nodachi. It does work with ninjutsu as well. So we might make a Katana Nodachi and call it good. Oof, eight hours, nine hours. We're going to be like fab 12 by the time we make these two things. <laughs> Hmm. Sure. Get done. Um. No, let's just keep burning torch. I got so much gas available between the various garages nearby. We'll just keep burning that for now. Save the forge for emergencies. All right. Let's go kill whatever that is. You don't need it out there making noise and attracting others. Might finish this up before I need to put the character to Betty Bye.
daylight, tired, only made it to 40%. Hmm. Whoops. Excuse me. Did I? Oh, fuck. I left the front door open. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, my bad. Uh, keep, keep telling myself to don't do that. <laughs> um, I really don't want to step out there. I might just let them wander around out there. Yeah, I'm just going to let them wander around. I'll clear it when we... Clear it later. I think I might be out of acetylene gas. Yeah, that's not good enough. And <clears throat> Fab nine. I was hoping to go to sleep by ten AM, but it's getting I might make it. 798.99. There we go. We has achieved Katana. Drop Cutlass. And let's go ahead and have some cheese and toastums and almonds. And peanut. Mm -hmm. All right, we're thirty one cut four bash rapid strike high block. How different is this? Actually, doesn't seem that much different. I don't care about the loss of the bash. We lost one point of the hit bonus and 15 points of speed, but we gained rapid strike four more damage. Yeah, it's worth it. I'm a little unhappy about the to hit bonus loss, but that's Ash fine. That's what skills for to overcome that. <clears throat> Gee, we're only at four cutting skill. <laughs> so many things we've chopped up with our machete, and we're at four cutting skill. Thanks, thanks, focus system. <laughs> Love you lots. I think I'm just gonna try to sleep. Let's hope nothing uh, comes through the wall from the north. If I can sleep till dark, then we can clear our front area and get that door closed. I don't want to go out there in the daylight, because that'll be a mess. See if we get woken up by something banging around in there. Actually, while this does this, I'm going to go take a quick break. We're about four hours in. I need to go grab my tea and get, uh, get a mega biscuit for zombie dog. I'll be back with you guys here in just a bit.